This hepatitis B animation project involves Cancer Council New South Wales and we educate uh, students from Cabramatta High School about hepatitis B. And Sebastian teaches the kids about animation so that they are able to make stop motion animation films to raise awareness about hepatitis B in the community. Hepatitis B is such an important issue in Cabramatta because many of the people who live in this area do come from countries with high prevalence of hepatitis B. And this is such an important project because we've been able to combine art with this health issue to deliver the message in a new way. When the project was first brought to me, I sensed it would have a high level of student engagement. It would take them beyond the way that they learn in class and allow them to have a greater direction in an area that's really, really important and would also bring out their creative side. I think they've learned a lot about animation, firstly, but secondly, they've learned a lot about health issues and about the way they should treat their own body. I think through animation, the engagement level of the students has just gone up tenfold. Um, our students identify with animation. They come from watching animation as a kid and those sorts of things, so they love it. So through animation, they've become way more engaged in the project that they're doing. This workshop is more practical and more fun than normal school work. It's more interesting and it has raised my awareness about hepatitis B and it has taught me a lot. Well, I think the hepatitis B um, workshop was very informative. It helped me and I guess the other students also understand the seriousness of hepatitis B. Hepatitis B isn't something that's portrayed a lot in the media, so therefore it was very important that we understood it and we also learned about um, the differences between it, how it could be transferred and how easily it could be prevented and I found that very informative. And then you might say, under the picture, zoom in to a close-up on the face. Ah, it's been lots of fun. Uh, I don't get a lot of opportunity to work with kids and normally I teach university. Uh, I guess the most fun thing for me has been to see kids excited about animation and just to see how excited the kids have been doing animation for the first time is a real blast. This project will benefit the students in many ways. Firstly, their deep knowledge and their learning will increase. But secondly, they then get to share that with the wider community. And so it will also benefit the local community and beyond the classroom. I think any project where you're raising awareness for the children and they understand what's going on in the community with health issues is always vital for the kids. I believe that this workshop has helps a lot of the students understand more about hepatitis B and how it can be transmitted and I believe it can also raise awareness for the community. For our students, by being involved in this project, they are able to get involved in the community and have make feel like they're being heard in the community and have a say, as well as picking up new skills and having a lot of fun while learning about large health issues in our communities. Well, I've realised doing this project how important the issue is. I didn't realise that 200,000 people in Australia have hepatitis. Injection over six months. Ten times the number of people who have HIV. So that's amazing. And to my shame, I didn't realise until the project that hepatitis B caused cancer in the liver. From memory, as a student at school, I remember switching off a little bit when material is quite dry. So you can see how excited the kids are when they're doing the animation. So if they can somehow ingest a bit of information about hepatitis through animation, which they do find exciting, 
um, and bring it back to the communities that they live in, and that's great. This workshop was purely to inform the community, uh, the community about hepatitis B, and I think that um, by w when we finish our animation and when we show it, the community will be better informed and they'll know how to treat hepatitis B if they have it. They know that they should go get checked, especially since a large proportion of our community come from Southeast Asia, where the amount of people with hepatitis B is very high. And yeah, I just think it's it's very informative and it will help our community very much.